Aquaman gets his groove back! Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And we are back at the desk with another Adobe Audition voice effect tutorial. This time around, we're taking on Black Manta from Aquaman. Now gang, this has been requested a bunch of times since Aquaman came out, specifically from this guy. So I thought, why not do it today? Now, of course, with any voice effect, this starts with a good base impression of Black Manta. And this is my best example. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. Not too bad, right? Now, of course, guys, it goes without saying, if you want to complete this effect, you are going to need a copy of Adobe Audition. And if you want to do this sort of little cherry on top that I do on the hero track within the tutorial, you'll also need a copy of Urkham Tracks V3 from Flux Audio. You can grab a demo in the link down below. Now, it is a little bit of a tricky install to get it into Audition, but it is worth it. But say you don't want to do that, the voice effect does work without it. So if you got all that, all we're going to do is just record your voice in Adobe Audition. And let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition and I've got my voice sample ready to go. Let's firstly have one more listen to that. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. Not too shabby, but let's start the process of building our Black Manta voice. We'll start that by inserting this into a multi-track session and naming it, I don't know, BM. Wait, never mind. Let's then place not one, not two, but three iterations into the multi-track. Yeah, I know I did three tracks on our last Godspeed episode, but who's really counting that, right? So of course, our top track is our hero track, meaning that this is where we want our actor's original audio as prominent as we can. So I'm gonna start with the rack over here and head to special and boost it with a vocal enhancer. That's just set to male. Or if you're female, set it to female. Next, and this one is optional, gang, since I know not everyone can afford or even install Urkham Tracks V3. I'm using this to add a subtle touch of modulation effects to the vocals, like he's speaking through his helmet, and just doing that changes how the voice is projected. So let's open up Urkham Tracks. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the transpose to minus 5 to give it some digital warble. Next, I'm going to set the flat slash expressive to 50% to punch up the emotion in the vocals. And finally, I'm going to set the young old to minus 50 just to further enhance the emotion in the voice a little more. If I close it out and solo this track, it sounds like this. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. Not that much different, but the change is there. Next track, let's call this one Lo-Fi. So the idea with this track is that this is the sound of Manta's voice inside the helmet. You know, technically you should be able to hear this, kind of like when you put a bucket on your head. Firstly, let's head to the rack, to modulation and go to flanger. From the drop down menu, let's grab robotic. And now the overall effect of robotic is a little over the top. So what we're going to do is set the feedback to 30%. Done. Next, let's really drive the bass home. We're going to head to the rack. To filter an EQ and grab FFT filter. We're going to set the drop down menu to default that zeroes out the line and then we're going to add four points like so and adjust them to kind of have this big flat bump that looks like this. This is really going to give this track some thick bass. And lastly let's add another vocal enhancer to bring the volume up a little as the FFT filter can bottom that out a little. Okay let's solo this track and have a listen. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. See how it sounds like he has a trash can on his head? Now when we solo that with the hero track as well. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. You can see what I'm putting down here, but we ain't done yet. Black Manta also has this swirly underwaterish filter projecting from his helmet voice too. So on the last track, we'll add some effects that, when combined with the other two tracks, will hopefully result in a cool voice effect. So let's unsolo those tracks and solo the third track and get into it. Firstly, let's head to the rack, to modulation and grab flanger once more. From the drop down menu, I'm going to grab flange verb. And once more, this one is a tad harsh with the feedback set to 80%. So we're going to bust it down from 80% to 50%. Now, if we have a listen to that, I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. 
you can hear it kind of sounds like it's being spoken through a fan spinning or perhaps through some sort of liquid filter. Next, let's lower this pitch. Cause you know, it wouldn't be a film learning audition tutorial without a lowered pitch. No, <laughs> really. All we want to do here is just set the semitones down to minus two. This is going to help this track stand out a little and it'll also punch up the other two tracks by not overwhelming them with another track at the exact same pitch. Okay, last effect gang, let's head to the rack to special and grab guitar suite. Let's set the drop down menu to default and hit bypass on everything except for amplifier right here. Let's set that to sharp transients and increase the amount to 60%. Now let's have a listen to that. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and cut you like the fish you are. Nice. Let's now unsolo it and put all three tracks together. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and cut you like the fish you are. To me, that sounds pretty good. It's kind of like a mix between the movie and the Injustice 2 take on Black Manta. Call it a happy medium. All we have to do now is right click and export our mix down like so, and we have our final Black Manta voice effect. So let's have a quick listen. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father, and cut you like the fish you are. And that, my friends, is another voice effect. Mm, done. So, add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. Ah, uh, to this. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father and gut you like the fish you are. So gang, that's my take on the Black Man of Voice Effect from Aquaman and maybe a little bit of Injustice 2 as well. As you can see, it's really not that hard to set up. There's just a few steps in adding effects to those three vocal tracks and then combining them all together into one sweet final product. So guys, I hope you did enjoy that. And if you did, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and it does help out. If you do have a voice effect request, leave it down in the comments because I read them all and I'm looking for more of them. But of course, that brings us to the end of another Film Linen episode. And if you are new here and you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single Film Linen episode. I've got two episodes right over here and 300 nearly on the channel. So you can check those out. I've got all my social media crap. If you want to follow me for behind the scenes stuff, you can just check those out right there. If you want to support us on Patreon, that's all there as well. And say you want to join up with the YouTube membership, you can click that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep... Learn it.